And happy Mother's Day, if that's relevant to anyone here. Um, here we have the 16th weekly Last Blade 2 tournament. Seems everyone's already checked in and everything, so let's just get on with the rules. Okay. Naturally, since the tournament will be held on Fightcade, uh, please enter with your Fightcade username or you risk disqualification at the discretion of the TO. Uh, Kiryu is banned due to SNK boss syndrome. Lee and Zantetsu AC JAC glitch is banned. Uh, basically, you get a bunch of really crazy infinite overhead shenanigans and it's just really broken, so. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Intentionally crashing or soft locking the game is banned for pretty obvious reasons. Inserting coins after round starts is banned because it drops frames and that can screw up combos and setups. Uh, loops are limited to two repetitions per combo. This does not include uh, anything that would drop because of pushback in a reasonable amount of time. So 4A, 4A, 4A is illegal. However, 4A walk, 4A walk, 4A is not. Uh, no macros, turbos, etc. outside of the official flight gate macros. Should go without saying, and if your net is deemed unplayable, you will be disqualified. And that does extend to playing on AES BIOS. Please make sure you are using the MVS ROMs. Uh, the matches are best of three rounds per game, all timers set to normal, all handicaps at default values, and all meters unmasked. There's no real way to mess with these without causing desync, so don't worry about it. Matches are best of three until finals, and then winners, losers, and grand finals are all best of five. Uh, please wait for your match to be called on stream before playing ahead. Playing ahead without permission will result in the match being reset, or potentially disqualification on repeat defenses. Please arrive within 10 minutes of your match, and remember to check in one hour before the tournament starts, which everyone did. Alright. So I'm going to push this magic button here, and start the tournament. Alright, everyone, please refresh your brackets to see the new brackets. Pretty small showing today, so I'll be on solo commentary, and up first we have the Samo Camo vs. Hyper Shadow JD. Please play your match. They are in. Alright, hopefully we can uh, have a few less technical issues this week. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got Zantetsu versus uh, Speed Kaide. Alright, so Power Zan's got some really crazy damage output and a ton of really absurd mix up tools. Uh, so although Speed Kaide wants to play very aggressively, uh, at the same time you don't really want to get that close to Zantetsu because then, yeah, stuff like this happens and you lose half, you lose 75% of your life in two hits. Ooh, some very clean air airs from Samo Camo, already taking round one, very convincingly. Uh, normally you'd be wanting to... I'd say you'd normally want to run power mode in this matchup because... Oh, that might crash. Damn it! Okay. Fighting nonsense. Uh... I apologize. Alright, so uh, Samo Camo has visibility installed and manages to close it with a cross-up. That was not a glitch, that is actually a mechanic. Um... So, will we see a counter pick from Hyper Shadow? No. Uh, personally, I feel that uh, Power Kaide's got a much better chance in this matchup because 
if you're that close to Zantetsi that you can actually make use of uh, Speed Kaede's extra pressure, you're already in a really bad spot. However, Speed Kaede also was able to confirm Fandango's off of, uh, off of his command grab, and that's absolutely terrifying. The problem, though, is you'll almost never have meter and be alive in this matchup. So, you might as well just go power and get the, uh, get the better damage on everything else. And Samo Camo closing it with a stun confirm. Very nice. Alright, some pretty lukewarm pressure from Hyper Shadow there, leaving himself unsafe. I think he's chained a little too slowly. Oh, with 4A gets caught by Samo Camo's cross-up. And a dive kick will potentially close this. There it is. Samo Camo takes the match. Alright. So we're already experiencing a few technical difficulties, sadly, but uh, hopefully it'll go uphill from here. Um, up next we will have... Oh, hold up. Hyper has something to say. Oh, okay, he's just... Never mind, I thought he was going to uh, call for speed test. Yeah, don't don't worry yourself too much. Everyone dies to Santetsu. <laughs> All right. Uh, so up next we have Lightspeed Lucas versus the Samo Camo. Please play your match. All right. Already going into this, we've got Power Hibiki versus Power Zantetsu. Uh, this should be a much better matchup for Hibiki than uh, Speed Kaede, because Hibiki is able to trade very consistently with a lot of Zan's shenanigans. Ooh, a very clean deflect from Lightspeed Lucas right off the bat. Uh, but a whiff 5B will result in Samo getting a punish, but not quite converting off of it. Installing invisibility. Gain a trade, favorable for Lucas, but Samo Kim manages to get it confirmed with a stray low. Alright, leaves himself punchable, Lucas having the awareness to punish, and... Guess the jump in! What makes you close this, and Samo drops the combo. Late speed Lucas lives to see another day, but Samo Camo with the deflect bait... Run one goes to Samo. Yeah, Fight Kate isn't really ideal, but uh, the Steam version does not have spectator lobbies yet. Uh, Samo Camel going nuts with these cross ups here. Catching Lucas left and right. Lucas gained some clean hits in, though. Uh, Samo managing to get a punish after those kunais. And closing the round as a result. Game 1 goes to Samo Camel. All right, let's see how Lucas adapts to this. Round start sweep. Gets the 5B. Blowing out Samo pretty well here, but a bad deflect will, uh... Be punished. I'm not sure if you realize this, but, uh, Zantetsu's cross-up is tech... Cross-up slash is technically a projectile, so you can't actually deflect it. Uh, it's most of what makes this mix-up game so strong. Alright, some stagger pressure from Samo. Kind of like well, I've never seen anyone do that. Uh, but Samo Camo closes it by stuffing like Speedbooks' DM with a uh, with a super. Anyways. Um so pretty clean confirmed from Samo Camo here. Left themselves unsafe. Lucas failing to punish. 
And Sam Camo closing in with a uh, with a 2C confirm. Taking the set. All right, so uh, after that we have Zara sixty five versus Playball. Please play your match. All right, they're in already. Alright, so we've got a Mono Hibiki here. Uh, Mono JC is very valuable in this match. Ooh, already gained a throw right off the bat. Alright, doing a good job of stuffing out uh, play ball with that JC. Yeah, that, dis that Dishrun is very valuable because it can actually contest uh, Hibiki 5B fairly consistently. Which allows him to jump, both jump in safely and uh, use his retreating normal quite effectively. Ooh, play ball, made that deflect with a throw, and managed to get the OTG afterwards, taking round one. Alright, so he's got meter on deck though. He now threatened charges, and that can sting quite a bit. It's also difficult for Hibiki to punish it very effectively, but she can get a knockdown if she has the awareness. I can throw. Gets the charge, gets the OTG, doesn't go for the super, surprisingly. I think that would have killed. Alright, but a throw into the corner will result in a killing confirm. Allowing Zara to take round two. Alright, fade back JC. Alright, good trade. Both trying to wall each other out here, but now Zar has to find a way in. Gets the deflect. Gets it again, but drops the confirm. Oh, this record could be quite punishable. There it is. Play ball gain the deflect and a super confirm off of it. Not quite killing, though. Any hit will take this from uh, Play Ball here. Alright, good deflect bait. But just misspaces the uh, two one four. I want to say, uh, allowing play ball to take the match. All right, good jumping from play ball there. Gets another one. No conversion. Alright, gets another, and a super confirm. Not quite going to kill. But, uh, Zara's back in this, but gets anti aired by Playball's 5B. Kabiki's trying to three frame anti air is going to allow him to deal with a lot of Amano's cross up shenanigans, which aren't particularly strong to begin with, but. Alright, gain some JBs. Can I confirm? That's a few rock five Bs. Gets the deflect! This hurt. This is the tech chase. Both deflecting. Play ball with frame advantage though. Drops the super confirm. Throw and OTG taking the set. Alright. Up next, we should have Zar 65 versus Playball. No, Zar 65 versus Hyper Shadow JD. My bad.
Yeah, it's double elimination, my dude. You're still in this. All right, they're in. All right, we've got Power Kaide versus Power Amano. Let's see how Hyper Chano tries to approach this. Throwing some fireballs, pretty risky, but they're not getting too much punish. Still managing to get in, though. Alright, going for some JCs. Not quite getting the hop inputs. Making it significantly more reactable. Alright, goes for a pretty risky dash and gets stuffed by a uh, fadeback JC. Hyper Shadow going for a raw 2 and 4B. Zara not punishing, but managing to anti with 5A. Taking round one. Hyper Shadow is uh, throwing out some pretty committal buttons here. Not really putting himself in a particularly good school. Ooh, a very clean deflect, but no follow up. Uh, he's pushing some really committal buttons and not putting himself in a very good spot. To oh my god, the raw super! Never mind. Gets another deflect, no conversion still. Trying a speed combo, but he's in power, so that does not work. Alright, gets anti here. Start getting the throw. Alright, Sarth getting another throw, gets the OTG. And what's the mix? There it is! An overhead from Zar will take this uh take the match. Or game. All right. Hyper Shadow going straight back into Power Kaide. No, he's really got to find some better chances to either keep a mono at a range where he can't threaten Fade Back JC or uh, get close enough that he can actually threaten man throws. Try 5B into 2 and 4B. That's not actually working. All right, another Rekka. Fails to punish. So I'm going for some pretty risky throws here, but uh, Hyper Shadow managed to walk out. Just 5B, no follow-up. 4A into 2 and 4A. Gets blocked, but no punish. And another Ross Super, and Sh Shadow making the call with a full-screen fireball. Alright, they're jumping around now. Hyper Shadow getting a jump in. Goes for a good confirm, but uh, gets stuffed due to uh, being blocked. Who gets the raw tatsu? That's enough of it. Zara doing a very good job of air to airing uh, Hyper Shadow now. Alright, good fireball, but gets stuffed with an air to air. Yeah, you can't really contest a mono JC head on. That is one of the single highest priority norm air dares in the game. Holy shit, another raw super! Any chip can kill Zara at this point. He gets the hit, but no confirm. And a fireball closes it! J Shadow taking game two. Alright, Zara getting a very early throw. J Shadow throwing out some very risky throws of his own. Uh, both whiffing. A lot of throws to smash. Alright, Zara finally mixing in some JCs. Oh, this could hurt. And that would be a crash. But he did get the hit. Ah. <sighs> I love Fight Kate. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that advantage allowed Zara to snowball into taking round one.
All right, with two and four. Zara punishing with only a throw. Goes for JC in the tick throw. Hyper Shadow gain the deflect. And... That may have been another crash. Yeah, it was. Wow, that is a very hard crash. Damn. Oh, it looks like they finished playing. I think the spectator was like 30 seconds behind or some shit. Okay, uh. So it sounds like Zar did win. And Fight Kate is once again pulling shenanigans. Alright, well. Hopefully that's the last of the surprises Fightgate has in store for us, as we move on to Lightspeed Lucas vs. R65. They are in. Alright, so I'm getting a throw right off the bat. Get another one. Nice speed Lucas leaving himself punchable. Nothing from Zara though. Manages to get an opening with a low. Alright. Pretty good middle anti-airs from Lucas here, but Zar managing to get in. Alright, JC tries to take the throw, but uh, Lucas wasn't hit stun, so it didn't work. So manages to open up afterwards and take round one. Alright, Zara punishing with another throw. Alright, trying to wall out Lucas here. Seems to be paying off. Yeah, the main thing you want to do against Tabiki is just uh, stay outside of range and try to whiff punish her, because... She takes a ton of extra recovery if any of her normals whiff. Ooh, Lightspeed Lucas taking it with a cross-up JB. Alright, some JCs. Lucas in the anti-air. Zara responding with a throw. Alright, like this here. Ooh, Lucas with the air deflect. Nothing off of it. He's still leaving himself punchable quite a bit here. Should probably be making uh, more use of empty cancels. Alright, goes for a very ballsy super, but does not work out. Zara going for an SDM. Doesn't pay off. And Lucas closing it with 5B into 236. Taking game one. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things about this matchup. Amano JC beats uh, Hibiki 5B pretty cleanly. And even if it trades, I'm pretty sure it's to Hibiki's favor. Or at the very least, it's very close. Or not to Hibiki's favor, to Amano's favor. Anyways, uh, Lucas taking round one. Alright, Zara bouncing around, getting a throw. Lucas already down 50%. Zara going for another throw. 
I guess he's throwing out a few more buttons here. Manages to bait Zar's throw, gets some decent damage. Whiffs the super. No punish. This could be it for Zar. Zar gets the deflect, gets the uppercut, conversion, and backs off. Strange decision. Uh, Lightspeed Lucas manages to close the round. All right. With that, since it's such a short week, we have... Uh, we are actually in finals now. So everything from here on out is best of five, meaning... You need to win three games in order to advance the next round. Please keep this in mind as we move on to Samuel Campbell versus Playball. Please play your match. They're in. Alright. Looks like we've got Makuro Hibiki. Alright, so as I'm sure you've probably noticed by this point, uh pretty much the defining trait of whether or not Hibiki is able to win a matchup is or but whether they do win a matchup is uh pretty much just down to how easy it is to contest her 5B. And Makuro's got some very high priority air to grounds that do an absurd amount of damage. And holy shit, Samo Camo already tearing play ball open with myriad of command grabs. Alright, gets the J2B. Samo Camo can gain a deflect though. Gain too much damage, but gain a lot of resets here. Samo Camo's already down <laughs> below 50%. Alright, whiffed, uh, whiffed SDM leads to an anti tier. And Samo Camo taking it with a wall bounce into. Dash. Alright. Get some better J2B. Get some throw. Uh, we have all of the awareness to block these cross ups quite well. Who gets the deflect? This could be big. Alright. Uh, drops pressure and. It's now Samo's turn. Hero pressure is absolutely terrifying. Oh my god, play ball just supering straight out of it. Calling Samo out of his fan dash. But Samo managing to chip out play ball after the SDM. Taking game one. Yeah, Makuro is nutty. He's got some insane damage output, even on block. And then his mix-up game is incredible. Basat needs that. Ooh, a very clean air deflect against that 5B. Managed to get a pretty solid conversion. Not quite getting the tech chase, though. Alright, wall bounce. Whips the throw. No punish for play ball. Guess play ball getting the deflect. Doesn't get a full conversion. Alright, gets another deflect. And a super confirm off of it. Not quite gonna kill. Miki supers, although consistent, don't do too much damage. Alright, a good air deflect from Samu Kamo. Gets a full conversion off of it. Play ball gain a knockdown. Getting him out of the corner, finally. So I'm trying to get him back into it, though. And a command throw will do so. Playball making the interesting decision to uh, try and jump out of that uh, left-right mix, but Samo Camo still managing to get a strike hit, and close on the round as a result. 
Okay, good 5B from play ball there. Samo's uh, not spacing their cross-ups super well, so they're pretty reactable. Samo with a very strong tech chase there, though. And manages to close it with a 4A conversion, taking game 2. Alright, play ball! Fighting fire with fire, and... Kind of picking to another top tier. Alright, some solid air airs from play ball. Trying to go for some interesting pressure, but caught pushing buttons again by Samo Camo. And that's gonna sting. Alright, gets the cross up. And the conversion will kill. Samo Camo now on tournament point. Er, in match point. Can't have it myself. Alright, play ball blocking the cross up quite well. Blocking another. Uh, Samo Camo blocking play ball's cross up. Alright, good confirm. Alright, play ball with a dive kick. No punch from Samo Camo, though. Alright, empty up low. No conversion, once again. Oh, and a raw super from Samo Camo will potentially take this. Not quite. What? Play ball catching Samo pushing buttons. Alright, so much for Kunai's. Gets a throw. Doesn't get Oki. Manages to cross up Samo. No Kunai's, though. Yeah, those Kunai's are most of why that uh, cross up is so scary, because it actually does as much damage as most characters' BMBs in power mode. Oh, damn, another very clean conversion from Samo Camo taking the match. All right, moving on to losers finals. We have Playball versus Lightspeed Lucas. All right, they're in. All right, we've got Hibiki Amano. <laughs> we've seen this matchup a few times tonight, and you know the drill. Uh, play ball is in speed, though, which means that he can play a lot more aggressively, even if uh, Lucas manages to block his jump-ins. <laughs> Alright, some good chains. Lightspeed Lucas gain the deflect. One big problem though is uh, if Playball doesn't beat out uh, Lucas's 5Vs cleanly, it's gonna trade Hibiki's favor, so he's gotta watch for that. But a charge and OTG will close it from Playball. Alright, good deflect, no conversion. Gain some very flashy chains here. Alright, with JB gets punished. And a B and B will reset neutral, it seems. Alright, some good pressure from Play Ball. Gets the opening, but doesn't get the combo. Ooh, a whiff super! Ah, uh, no punish from Play Ball. Getting greedy for these resets. But a charge will beat out Lux's dash and take the game. <laughs> See if Lucas can adapt. 
Play a lot more defensible here, trying to wall him out with a lot of JAs and 5Bs. Play ball gained the throw, though. Just a little too early on that JC for it to hit. Gets the deflect, gets the uppercut, and gets the knockdown afterwards. A very clean tech chase from uh, play ball there. Ooh, gets another deflect. SP Lucas is now in desperation. And play ball takes it with a B and B. These two are going absolutely ham on these deflects. Alright, another good deflect into Fandango! That's the setup. Backdash. Uh, Lucas didn't roll forward though, so... Okay. Still manages to get the throw and close the game with a perfect! Very clean play from play ball. First of three, best of five. Yeah, you're already in losers finals. It's uh it's a pretty short tournament today. Alright. They're back in. But they switched sides, so let me fix that. Alright, we've got the same matchup, though. Midspeed Lucas gained some pretty clean hits. Alright, play ball going for a counter. Lightspeed Lucas having none of it. Another counter! This one hits! Alright, back to neutral, and... Ooh, tries to deflect the ba the deflect, but just a little too early. And Lightspeed Lucas manages to close the round. We could see a comeback here. Alright, Jay loses to JC, naturally. Lightspeed Lucas leaving himself punchable, but play ball doing nothing to punish it. Alright, basically deflect quite well. Ooh, Lightspeed Lucas getting an air, uh, interior deflect of his own, but play ball retorting with a deflect in Fandango. Not quite enough to kill, and drops the tech chase, but gets a throw, and this will close it. Play ball is now on match point. Alright, B and B. Good bait for play ball. And good awareness to not try and swing against the uh 5A. Alright, good dash in from Lucas. No follow-up though. Alright, gets the deflect. They're both just deflecting at each other. Let's be Lucas has had enough and starts throwing. Both deflecting again. SP Lucas could take this. Just any amount of chip. With the super. And this could be it for Lightspeed Lucas. Not quite. Fandango. And Lightspeed Lucas caught blocking low. Playball takes the match. Moving on to Grand Finals. All right, just give me a second here. All 
All right, we have play ball from losers and Samo Camo and winners. Lose player match. Oh, wow, they're already in. And an instant guru meditation. Oh, no. This is going to be anticlimactic as hell if we can't actually spectate. Okay. They're in. We're good. Alright, we've got play ball on EX at Beaky against Samo Camo's Power Shigen. Uh, Shigen is a very infamous character for being able to just completely break the damage cap. And, uh, EX mode takes 30% extra damage. So, play ball is potentially able to just die in any one hit. Alright, Samo Camo closing this very quickly with some command throws. It's been a long time since Samo's actually uh, pulled out the Shigen in the tournament. Actually, not sure if he's pulled it out in the weeklies. Alright, run up command throw. Run up command throw! Are we gonna see another? Another command throw! Can we see the fourth? Oh, the fourth command throw from Playball! Alright, some good chains from Playball here. But Samo Camo gained the conversion. Any hit from either player could kill, and... Oh, wow, Playball surviving with literally a shred of life. Has to play super cautiously now, but... Gets the throw! <laughs> or the counter, rather. And Samo barely closing it out by walling Playball with a 4A. Alright, we see a counter pick. Alright, counter pick to Power Lee. Alright, I actually know literally nothing about this matchup. I'd imagine it's Lee's favor just because Lee's so broken, but at the same time, Shigen's got a lot of really high priority, very active normals. So, in theory, Shigen should be able to keep him out and eventually just suffocate him with command throws and armor. But on the flip side, if Lee gets in, that's definitely going to spell death for Shigen. Oh my god, a run-up command throw, and another command throw! Playball barely surviving again. Manage to hit Samo out of his claw and dropping the super conversion, sadly. Alright, Samo coming in the air deflect, getting the air throw. Alright, some good air from play ball here. Yeah, normally uh, Lee's normals are deceptively high priority just because of uh, how far they reach when his hurtbox does inevitably extend. But Shigen's normals are way bigger than that range, so it should be pretty hard for Lee to actually get some clean hits. Or even trades, for that matter. Alright, good throw from Playball. Good deflect from Samo, and... Playball gained the wall bounce. Is the air there? Just for the conversion, but leaves himself punchable. And Samo Camo with a super command grab. This is gonna kill. Samo taking game two quite convincingly. All right, Samo Camo making full use of uh, Power Shigen's extra damage, but play ball counter picking to Zan Tetsu. Should be some pretty similar problems to Lee, but just Zantetsu is generally better at everything. However, Zantetsu also does have his uh, standing slashes, which does mean he should be able to at least uh, force Shigen into a wall bounce and make it Oki. And Zantetsu Oki is pretty scary for obvious reasons. Alright, game deflect. No conversion. Just another deflect. Again, dropping the conversion, but managing to frame trap Samo Camo. Alright, Samo Camo not laying up the pressure, gain the command throw. Gain another command throw. Samo Camo is now on tournament point here. Middle's gotta play uh play a lot more aggressively here. Let's get through. 
Shigen's fast as normal, comes out frame 5, so... Uh, it should be pretty... In theory, it shouldn't be too hard for Zantetsu to suffocate Shigen, especially given the big body. Uh, play ball installing invisibility here. Alright, goes for the air throw conversion, doesn't get it. Gets the knockdown, doesn't get the kunais. That could cost him the game. Ooh, gets the jump! Play ball, back in this. Alright, getting the cross. And Samo Camo getting the super. 50% just gone! OTG grab. And another command throw. This could be it. Not quite enough chip. Play ball. Last chance to capitalize on this and potentially take the tournament back. Right, playing very defensively. A very good counter poke. And he chipped it close. This and Samo Camo takes it with a 4A into claw on block. All right. With that, we have the tournament. Samo Camo is the champion of this week. All right. Good showing, everyone. This has been the 16th weekly Let's Play 2 tournament. Happy Mother's Day to all you out there, and hope to see you next week. Goodbye.